Welcome back. I'm joined live now by Mr. Cameron Malfres with the Art Park. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. All right, well, tell me first off, where is the Art Park and why was it created? Uh, the Art Park is at 128 Pine Avenue, uh, and it was created to give a place for creative expression for people to go and to participate and to appreciate art and expression. And if you guys haven't seen it, we have some video we're going to show you. And this is a really a creative space for not only professionals, but other people can come as well, correct? Tell right. me a little bit about yeah. what you can see if you go down there. Right now, we're uh, in the process of um, identifying the outside walls for larger works. We had a lot of artists that were coming in doing some very elaborate work, and we wanted to designate those particular spots so that they can do you know, good work. And then We've got uh, interior space where we're going to let everybody just paint and do whatever they want to. So that's good. So you do not have to be a professional artist to be able to contribute to that space. Correct. We want everybody to come out. We want everybody to be involved. That is awesome. Now tell me, what makes it unique to Albany? Unique to Albany? Uh, it's really something that I've never seen anywhere else. It's something that's uh, completely unique. It's organic. It's community driven. Um, and it's beautiful. Absolutely. Well, now there are rules and people might think, well, why are there rules for an art park? But we do want to highlight them because we don't want you painting over some of those large works of art like Optimus Prime. It's gorgeous. So here they are, the walls, gray, everyone, orange, you need permission. Right. Do not paint the front, do not paint the back, the floors or the windows, pick up after yourself and please do not run or climb the walls. Tell me why those rules are so important to obey, especially where you can and cannot create art. Well, we, we ran into an issue with uh, some of the work, you know, like I said, some of the artists that were doing some very elaborate works. Um, and we had some guidelines, you know, in which we were asking people that if they were going to paint over something, we understand that everything is going to be painted over eventually. But if they're going to, we want them to do uh, equal or better effort. You know, they, you know, just don't, covered up with something that's, you know, mm -hmm. less. Um, and so we're changing that and giving the outside walls to the artists, you know, so that they can go in and do stuff. And, and I say that very loosely because we really, we want everybody to get involved, but we want that to be permit-based because we want to be able to communicate with someone when they come in and they want to paint on the outside. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to say, you know, here's, you know, this is the ground rules, you know. If you're going to paint over something, we, we know that that's going to happen, but we want you to take into consideration the size of the piece that you're going to paint over um, and the effort that they put into it. And the quality. And right. it's just a basic respect. Right. Absolutely. Right. Now, there have been some events like the, um, the Color Run kicked off at mm -hmm. the Art Park. Are there going to be more events? Can people book a wedding reception there or have a party there? Yes. Yeah, so we do have a, we have a rental program. Uh, you can contact the downtown manager's office or you can contact us at uh, info at artparkonpine.com and find out more information or just connect with us on Facebook. Okay. And I have to ask about kids because kids are always, you know, wanting mm -hmm. to be artistic. And what about kids? Are they allowed to come? And Absolutely. Stuff too? Yeah, we love for kids to come in there. Great. Absolutely. Is there anything else you would like to add about the art park for any of our viewers watching um, home? Our park, we're having a graffiti barbecue, you know, to the events we were having. We're having a graffiti barbecue uh, Saturday. It's going to kick off about 4 o'clock. Uh, it's hosted by the Catalyst and by Detail and Arts Coalition. Uh, our sponsors are Phil Cannon and Associates, um, DanielTitus.com. Mm -hmm. Darton College, uh, and then 340 Creative Group is going to be providing the uh, music. Awesome. Uh, they're bringing a DJ down from Columbus, and we're going to have break dance and flavor emotions going to be there. All it's right. going to be a great time. So if you guys haven't had a chance to get it, you can go to this event. You can see it, smell it, hear it, dance to it, and even maybe contribute a little art. Well, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. I certainly appreciate it, and thank I hope you. you guys all get a chance to visit the downtown art park on Pine.